Three years ago, I knew nothing about storytelling. I never shared any story in front of a group. Terrible storyteller. I think, in fact, my six-year-old nephew was a better storyteller than I. Fast forward to today. By now, I've given hundreds of workshops to leading organizations such as Google, Oracle, Visa, and many, many more. On this journey, I've read, I think in total, 34 books on storytelling. Now, I'd say a lot of these books, pretty average. But there were a few who were absolutely incredible. In this video, I'm gonna share the five books that have transformed my storytelling skills. Now, I'll give you two recommendations on personal storytelling and three recommendations on business storytelling. First book, Storyworthy by Matthew Dix. If you wanna tell a story at this story slam or that open mic night, this book is really for you. In the book, you'll learn how to spot stories in every single moment throughout the day and also how to turn any let's say average moment into a beautiful mesmerizing story what is very interesting if you see matthew dix he's not this very flashy guy right he always stands there with his black t-shirt his cap he doesn't use any body language he's not a performer but his stories are just so incredible that he has won more story slams than anyone else in this world so check out his book second book the Power of Personal Storytelling by Jack McGuire. This book will give you lots of practical advice on how to find and tell stories in a personal setting as well. Now, lots of exercises, lots of practical prompts that will help you become a better storyteller. The previous book, Storyworthy, that I'd say is more for stories that you share on stage. The stories that you learn in this book these are much more for, let's say, stories you share in front of friends, in front of family, much smaller stories, but beautiful stories to build a connection with anyone. Third book, The Story Selling Method by Philip Hum. Philip Hum? Who's that? That's me. <laughs> in The Story Selling Method, you'll learn how to master storytelling, to build trust, stand out and to boost your sales. Now, no fluff, no BS, just straightforward storytelling tactics to help you wow your customers. What are you going to learn in this book? In this book, you'll learn how to pretty much turn any moment into this mesmerizing story. You'll also learn how to find and deliver the five fundamental sales stories. And you'll learn how to feel confident to share your story at any opportunity. It's a powerful book, check it out. Fourth book, The Story Theater Method by Douglas Stevenson. This book is a great resource if you want to learn how to deliver inspiring stories at work. Now, this is not small stories like casual stories for one-on-one. -on -one. No, no. This one is big storytelling. How to deliver a story, let's say, at your company's offsite or a keynote. Now, what you should know about Doug Stevenson. His background is an actor. And so a lot of the techniques that you'll learn come from acting. So how to stand on stage, how to use your body, how to bring your audience into the moment. It's a phenomenal book on big storytelling. Fifth book, Unleash the Power of Storytelling by Rob Biesenbach. Now, I hate it when books drag on for like 300 pages and they give pretty much no content at all. This is why I also have in my bookshelf, I think hundreds of unfinished books. Just can't pay attention so much. Now don't worry, this book, Unleash the Power of Storytelling, is completely the opposite. It's a very short read, very practical, just a lot of useful nuggets on how to become a better business storyteller. It is the perfect introduction to business storytelling. These are the five books that have changed my life. Go check them out and get ready to unleash the storyteller that is within you. If you enjoyed today's videos and you think like, oh, Philip, I wanna see more of this cool content, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Wherever you are in the world, thanks a lot for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.